Hey guys, thanks for coming back to my channel um, for a new video. I know I haven't been on here for a while, but I'm ready to do a video for you today. Um, if you're new, thanks for coming by to see what I have to say. And if you've been here for uh, with me since day one, I really appreciate all of you so much. You're just the best. Um, please subscribe if you haven't subscribed before. If you want to see weekly videos on strange, creepy disturbing and true crime things of that matter. Um, so today we will be talking about Kendrick Johnson. He was actually the youngest of five siblings and his friends described him as a very quiet and a gentle person. He was always nice to everybody. He did really well in school, always making the honor roll. And he actually played three sports, um, which one of them was football and he was planning on playing for the pros. But what happened to him has always kind of haunted me and is, you know, a real head scratcher because his case has been open and closed numerous times over the years. Um, at the end of January 2022, it was actually closed again, and the Lowndes, Sher uh, Lowndes County Sheriff released a 16-page report outlining all the reasons why he thinks that um, Kendrick's accident was just a strange, weird accident and that it had nothing to do with foul play or anything of the sort and that he would put up $5,000 of his own money to anyone that could prove him wrong. And he's actually very confident that he will never have to pay it. So that's, uh, you know, that's what goes to show what kind of person he is. But um, for people who do believe that Kendrick was murdered or this was a foul play accident, um, his, reports just lead to more questions. So on January 10th, 2013, Kendrick Johnson was marked absent from his fourth period high school class. And then after that, um, he, after school that day, he was supposed to be at a basketball game up until, you know, pretty late that night. So his parents didn't really worry right away. Um, you know, why he had been absent and why he wasn't home yet. But when he didn't come home by midnight, um, he was reported missing. And the next day around 1030 AM, his body was actually spotted upside down in a rolled up floor gym mat in his high school's gym. So, um, and when the coroners came out, the first cause of death was accidental positional asphyxiation or, uh, you know, in other words, they're thinking that, <clears throat> so a lot of the kids there didn't want to use their lockers. So what they would do was they would put their backpacks and things, um, in the gym. And at this point, um, they were redoing, you know, a lot of things in the gym and this and that. So pretty much they think that Kendrick's shoe fell down in one of the gym mats because all the gym mats were standing, you know, straight up. They weren't rolled out. They were all, you know, how gym mats stand up against, you know, the wall of a gym. Um, they think that his shoe had actually fallen down in there. And while he was reaching down for his shoe that he actually just slid down into the gym mat and um, was not able to get back up, obviously, because it was a lot taller than him. Um, the gym mat was smaller than his shoulder width. So that's another question that they're kind of talking about is how did he fall through if the gym mat was smaller than his shoulders? But, you know, he could have always fallen through and then that's when his shoulders got stuck. So they think that he uh, suffocated. So on that day, there were a lot of floor mats of various sizes being stored in the old high school gym, like I said. Um, and like I said before, it become common for students to just kind of uh, throw their things, their shoes um, inside the mats instead of getting a locker or having a locker. Um, and to get their things back, they would just, you know, lift the mat 
up, lift them out to the side and, you know, grab their things out or something like that. Kendrick was found in a mat, um, in the back. So all the way in the back near the wall, which led investigators to think that he wouldn't have been able to get to the mat. So he climbed up on top of all of the other mats. Um, and that's when he fell through there. Uh, his father actually identified him at the morgue and one arm, when they found him, one arm was stretched over his body. So when they found him in the mat, one arm was stretched over like he had been trying to reach for his shoe. Um, and his face was very badly swollen, of course, because he had been upside down that whole time. So all that blood rushed to his head. Um, so that's, um, how that happened. But the first official cause of death was foul play. Um, but this really didn't make sense because there was no evidence or witnesses, which means, uh, no foul play, you know? So one of the biggest red flags were actually the cameras. So Lowndes High School had 62 security cameras at various locations around the campus, four motion activated cameras in the gym with another camera in the hallway outside the door of the gym. And at 1.27 PM on January 10th, Kendrick can be seen from one angle running towards the corner of the gym where the mats were stored but for some reason the video was blurry and the camera was so unfocused that it was hard to make anything out um but they could tell that it was Ken Kendrick that's all that they could tell but the rest of it was you know p pretty blurry and it was just hard to see hard to hear you couldn't hear anything um also in the camp in the recordings, the tops of the mats were not shown at all. So according to a homicide detective, two of the four cameras actually stopped recording at 12.04 p.m. and started working again around 1.09 p.m. Um, the other two cameras shut down at 11.05 a.m. and started working again at 1.16 p.m. So during this time moments from the camera jumped around a lot and seconds were missing here and there for the next 24 hours so it's that seems a little sus to me like it's that seems pretty suspicious um according to the homicide detective they were missing footage of his body actually being discovered so in fact the cameras didn't start working again until his body was being taken out of the gym in a body bag hours later. So according to the school, there are six servers for these cameras and each one has its own clock used to timestamp the video feeds and none of them are synchronized, meaning that they all they could have um, all recorded and just had different timestamps put on them. So pretty much based on the files, Kendrick's death was nothing but a weird death, according to the files. But his family doesn't believe this um, was a, an accident. They believe that, you know, with, every, with everything from the cameras to... Um, I don't know. They just believe that somebody had something to do with this and that it, it is foul play or was foul play. But, um, that, that pretty much wraps up the story. Um, they're still opening and closing the case, um, which is crazy. New evidence keeps coming in. So I will keep you updated if I hear anything, but what do you guys think about this, um, case. I mean, it's crazy, right? Do you think that he was just reaching in the mat to get his shoe? Or do you think that something more sinister happened seeing as the cameras just weren't working that day and, you know, just some crazy things were going on? Um, let me know in the comments below. Just leave me a comment, leave me a like, and let me know what you think about this case definitely a haunting one. Definitely. Um, I do not believe it was just an accident just because of everything that was going on that day. Seems 
seems a little bit more than an accident, but um, I will see you guys next week for another true crime story. I really appreciate you guys all coming back and watching um, me. I hope to have some new viewers too. So subscribe if you want to see more of my content and more of what I have to say about stories. Um, thanks everyone for watching. I hope everyone has a great Thanksgiving and I hope everyone has a great day. Bye guys. Thank <laughs> you.